Hunt with passion. Never stop casting. Chase the dream. Welcome to Season 4 of Musky Mastery Outdoors. Brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors. Number one in big game fish products. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another Quick Tips Musky video here. Today's topic is casting distance. Uh, in musky fishing, you know, there are definitely some parts of the sport that I would say uh, require finesse, but there's also quite a bit of this sport that requires just distance and uh, just some hardcore casting. And I'm sometimes surprised by uh, guys and gals alike, but a lot of younger folks, even, even folks my age, that struggle with their casting distance. And I wanna show you something. So I guess what I, what I wanna just say here in this video is if you're either new to musky fishing or you've been musky fishing for a while and you feel like that you're lacking some distance on your casts, this video is for you because I'm gonna talk about a little bit of the technique and strategy behind uh, what I think goes into making a long cast and doing that consistently. So here's one of the first problems that I see most anglers make. Okay, and by the way, I'm throwing this just a little shout out to JBO. This is the all new um, little 500 tin buck booker tail there in sunset. Awesome new color. And uh, I'm gonna kind of show you a, a common mistake. I, a lot of, I see a lot of folks, young and older, do this. So they're they're casting and they're not getting a lot of distance. And they're and I really think, by the way, you know, why do I need to cast long? Well, uh, when you're casting about like this, and this is the this is what I commonly see. Is you're, you're you're pretty you're you're very limited in what you're able to accomplish on a lot of different types of structures. And that cast right there, I'm gonna break down what I see a lot of people do. And here's what it is. When folks are usually lacking distance on their cast, what's happening is they're using their body instead of their arms. And the analogy that I often make um, is that I know these, these LPGA uh, golfers are, I you know I'm sure some of them could bench me and throw me around a room, but I often say, you know, LPGA golfers, you know, these, these girls are small and they can hit the ball 330 yards further than you and I can. Is it because they're strong? No. It's not, it's just because they have the right technique. So this, this, this distance casting thing in the musky game is all about technique. So here's the, the common flaw that I see, is folks do this. They, they get ready, either, either right over the shoulder or even if they, they do this, but it's this. See my upper body? It's, it's, it's this, it's more of these folks, they'll even take a 500 like this and they'll, they'll, uh, they'll heave it out there. They'll heave it. And, and the other problem with that, guys, is you, of course, tire yourself out. You're using all this body and all this, this strength that you really don't need, especially when we're talking fishing uh, 10, 12 hour a day on the water or even more. You're gonna fatigue yourself very quickly. So here's what you need to do. And uh, my buddy, Mike Richardson here, who you guys know is all over the channel. Um, I'm not gonna cast this way, but I'm just gonna show you the, the technique here, okay? Mike's filming this for us. So. What you want to do instead of using this 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 body thing, right? You, you want to avoid this body thing. Is is create what we call in physics a fulcrum. Okay, a fulcrum is a point with which you put you, you know you you put the lever on the fulcrum and you can do more work. You can lift heavier loads. Okay, a little physics 101 here for you guys. Well, what I do, to, you know, I avoid this body thing big body thing. It's not that, it's this. Watch my arms here now. See the difference between this? I'm not actually moving my upper body, by the way. This is all arms. This versus this. So th this is good. This is good. This is bad. And see how is the bad way to cast, and a lot of folks do this. See how I'm not even breaking my elbow? I'm, I, it actually, everything stays pretty static here. It looks like this, this is bad. You know, and you're, you're throwing it like that. And again, it, I, it, this is young, medium, old. Folks that struggle with casting, they make this common mistake. So here's how you want, here's what you want to do again to improve that distance, is break your right elbow, okay? And I'll show you exactly what I mean by that again, is break that elbow. 
So when you break that right elbow or your left elbow, if you're a lefty, you're breaking the elbow. And what you're doing is you're, you're creating more leverage and which translates into power. And so it, is, it takes very little upper body here. So what I'm gonna do is break my elbow and you can see how I can really create so much more leverage without using my body. And you can, you can do what we call slinging it. So here's a good cast. And see how much distance we get there and very little upper body movement. Very little upper body movement. Um, you, you barely, barely, you know, move the upper body. It's all about the arms and creating the fulcrum to get that leverage. So I'm gonna show you one more, guys, and then I'll let you go. Because that's what this, this video is all about, is creating power. I think I, honestly, I might have a baby backlash in there. That wind, that wind popped me there, but we'll see. And there we go. No, very good. And uh, you, again, it's very easy to do. I'm gonna do one more cast for you. But it, it becomes a problem to me when I'm guiding, I would say, because I get guys on a spot and when they can't reach into the spot, that, then, we, then your short casting becomes a problem. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, controlling your distance is important too. But a lot of times I do see folks, one thing, you know, this, the, you know folks are getting into it especially they're lacking is that distance so again what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna you know point my rod tip at the target I'm gonna break that elbow look at this break the elbow and if I really want to launch one by the way I'll let the lure lag just a hair and then what you're doing when you let the lure lag behind is I don't know if Mike can get this in the video it loads the rod so loading this is a medium heavy is when you actually you we say this all the time see that bend in the rod that's a medium heavy St. Croix there that's called loading that's called loading the rod. And the, the important thing about loading the rod and, and actually delaying for a second, and that's when we, we say, okay, you're really slinging it, is you let the rod do the work. Just like in golf, we say, let the club do the work because you want to actually load the club and let it, let it actually bend a little bit. So watch one more here. I'm going to break my elbow. I'm going to lag it a little bit at the end before I release. Here we go. There you go, firing the old 500 booker tail out there with ease into some wind. And that's it, guys. So anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, you'll definitely, definitely add distance to your cast if you work on breaking that elbow, either right or left. Doesn't matter what, what, uh, what style, uh, you know, right-handed or left-handed you are. If you break that elbow and you create the fulcrum, you're going to cast farther. And in a lot of situations, it's going to be very helpful for you um, because you're going to get up tighter to the cover where these muskies are holding, and hopefully it'll help you catch some more fish this season. So I really hope you enjoyed this segment. Special thanks to Mike Richardson behind the camera. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. You're watching Season 4 of Musky Mastery Outdoors. Be sure to tune in next week for more exciting and educational musky and multi-species action.